Hi friends, welcome to tutorial days and in this video you are going to learn how to share data between components. So in Angular, as you know, this is combination of different kind of components like the header component, left component, side component, footer component, center component and there can be many other components. So in this video tutorial, I will show you that how data sharing is possible from one component to another component. Normally what happens, uh, normally uh, you might have created parent component as well as child component. So what happens and how we can pass the data which is available in parent component to child component. Okay, so you will learn this that how you can pass the data from parent component to child component. And sometimes there is possibility that there are two child components and data may have to pass from one child component to another component. So normally this is called sibling component. Okay. Passing the data from parent component to child component or child component to parent component. So we will also see that that apart from that, there is some uh, there are some cases when data we may have to pass from between two child components. So I will also show you that how you can pass the data between sibling component and then there are some cases when you have a lot of other components when it is not related that means there is no concept of parent or child component but you may have to access the data which is stored in data source to any components okay so finally I will also show you that how we can share or pass the data from uh, unrelated component. So now let's start the practical example one by one to understand that how we can share uh, the data between components in Angular. So first let's open command prompt and then create a new project. So here in detail D C D uh, C D C D and U one classes or simply class. Okay, so it's Angular class. Then ng new data sharing. We will create a new project. Let's press here yes then. Okay, now it's done. So CD data sharing. Okay. Now npm ng share. In the meantime, let's open Visual Studio Code. And then uh, open folder. D drive angular class and then data sharing this folder okay so this is SRC and this one is suppose uh, this app component is parent component okay so let's do one thing let's create one child component here NGGC NGGC parent okay let's create one component called parent component and then let's create one more component called child component okay so we have created two components here parent component and child component so this parent component we will call here into app component dot hdm okay so here parent let's see is selector app parent app parent 
so we are calling here in uh, app component so now we will see that how the data can be passed from parent component to child component okay so we need to create here one data service or maybe some message so let's create here a parent uh, msg okay here msg mm, string equals to this is message from parent component okay now this message we will pass to this child component okay so just let's copy it now let's go it's html here not this one so here we need to write app child that means selector of child component this one okay this app child we are calling into where uh, parent component here okay inside this we will pass here child msg equals to here parent msg and here we are getting this error it says that can't bind to child msg since it isn't a known property of app child because we have not created this into child component so we need to call this here so in our child component we need to call this child message which we are passing here okay this text is in our parent component and this one is in child component so we need to call this here like this at the rate input this input decorator is used to fetch the data from one component that means from, from parent component to child component with the help of this input decorator okay so now first thing that we need to do here we need to call here input input so this message is gone and since it is non uh, uh, it's not confirmed uh, property so that's why we can pass here optional okay so now let's run our project and see what happens ng sir okay so when we run this it is displaying here child works okay and now okay because we have not called this into our child html here so now you can see this message from parent component right so let me explain you once again so that uh, you may not be confused here what we did we created two components right child component and then parent component this parent component inside this parent component we have written a message here parent message string this is message from parent component okay now we want to send this message to child component of this component so how we know that it is child component of this component because we can call here in parent component we are calling this component so that means this is child component of this parent component okay when calling this selector this is called selector okay when calling this selector we are using this property okay so child message and then this this data which is in parent message is passing to child component okay here so that means what what is written here the message from parent component okay so from parent component it's coming here and then this data is passing here now to fetch the data into this component that means the child component we need to use input decorator okay 
here input decorator to get that message from child company so if you see here how it's working first it's parent component parent component inside parent component we have written uh, parent msg right then there is parent html inside html we are passing the data to child component finally we are accessing this to child component right here <coughs> now this data we are fetching from parent component and this data is will go to here and display let's open it this way uh, side by side this is app component now this is parent component okay this is parent component HTML now this is child component and then child component dot HTML right so currently we have okay let's start from here parent component we have written here parent component inside this this message right and then this message we are passing here here through this okay want to squeeze it actually no okay so we are passing this message to here into HTML of parent component okay now this data is being passed here right and this data now we are fetching through this input decorator okay and storing into child message okay now this child message we are displaying into its component through this one so this is how the whole data is passing okay so hope this is the method number one the process number one to access the data from one component that means from parent component to child component okay we will see other method how to access the data from one component to another component Okay.